You guys haven't known pain until you've drawn with crap you found outside. Hello and welcome back to The Average. I'm Steph, I'm The Average Artist, and today we're gonna be drawing with crap I found in my garden. Let's have a look at what I found. Um, it's looking so beautiful. Here is a twig. I did see a bug on this before, so now I'm like, where are you? Little, little, I thought that was a snail-like thing then. I was like, ew. Another twig, some may say. And uh, I thought this could be good for like splodging spots or something, or I could carve it. I don't know who I think I am, but I could carve it into some sort of like shape to do fine lines with. I don't know, we'll see. I thought it's better to have rocks than not have rocks and regret it, you know? Uh, regret the decision to not pick up rocks and this thing which it was like oh that looks nice and then I picked it up like this and loads of bugs have just come out of it so I might throw this one out the window <laughs> well I felt bad about that uh, leaf action because I thought it would be a good little tool and I wanted to test it out so I went outside again and found a fresh one that was not covered in bug and Gigi came to say hello uh, maybe warning me not to take that one inside, but I took it anyway. Bye Gigi, it's time to go painting. Let's test these out. I've got my little sketchbook here that I take for um, adventuring and around town and stuff. So I thought this would be an appropriate little sketchbook to try. I'm just using random like acrylics and inks here and acrylic wash. I just picked like random colors and stuff. I don't know what I'm gonna be using or what I'm gonna be doing yet, but I'm just gonna test out these. So did you ever have to do this in school or like art class or something when they were like, go and take random stuff from the garden and let's paint with it. And it seemed like, it just seems a little bit nonsense-y, doesn't it? Um, it just seemed a little bit artsy fartsy, but I do think there's something to it because I've been feeling a little bit blocked because I've been doing my um, comic. This is very nice. This is a nice little drawing tool. Doesn't make quite a nice sound. Uh, I've been doing my comics, so I've been a bit like art blocked other than drawing cats. So I wanted to just do something a little bit more, a little bit different, a little bit more loose, I guess. Um, yeah, so I'm just gonna be trying some stuff out. But this is how the twigs, I'm planning to use the twigs kind of like this uh, as sort of drawing tools, I guess. <laughs> Rocks. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with these, but they might make some nice texture. It's like a nice lip. <laughs> if uh, I was drawing a person, which I might, I might. Ink is a fairly forgiving medium to use with these uh, tools. <laughs> Ooh, get some nice uh, lines of it. I, still, I don't know what I'm going to do with it. and. Um, this is just a mess at the moment. So I painted a girl with a pearl earring before using limited materials that came from an art supply box that got sent to me. I'll post the, the video here if you wanna watch that. What would be interesting is try to recreate this. Well, not this, but the original <laughs> and compare the two. Cause I do like this one a lot. So it would be fun to see if we could do something similar. But let's, let's stick to these colors that I have. And I think I can mix them together to make that like dark brown because I think Girl with a Pearl Earring, it's not like a black colour behind her, it's like a brownie colour, but it kind of reads as black. And uh, what tool should I use? I did say I was going to carve this, and I do regret saying that, but you know. Very nice, look at me. A woodsman. Is it a woodsman? <laughs> Someone who lives in the woods? I don't know. If you see me in the woods, go just run away. Look at this. Gonna get a nice uh, shape. <laughs> Let's see how that works. I'm gonna put some water in it. Let's just get the shape of her. Oh, that was way too in. Oh well. Okay, so this is her head. <laughs> I was thinking if I block out the shapes, then it will be easier to figure out what's going on here. Uh, her scarf goes down to where her ear is, which is like here. Uh, eyebrows, non-existent. 
Okay, so this is so much wider than that. I wonder if I can get one of these and sort of, well, that didn't really work, but how I intended, but it's kind of working in a different way, which is fun. This is gonna be a very um, <laughs> haphazard attempt to make go with a pearl earring. Oh wait, I do have some white acrylic, so I could go in and try and uh, rectify this. Blue undertones to this painting, I guess. Oh, let's get another one of these little poppets things. Just smooth it out the edge there. Just smooth it out. Um, and her earring, very important. The earring is like here. I've definitely drawn her way too far down the page as well, but it's too late to do anything about that. I'm thinking if I make this shadow first, as it dries, it will be, it will work. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm hoping that layering is my friend in this uh, challenge. So far, this is looking a bit crazy, but stick with me, guys. It might look better in a minute, okay? It might, I said might. I didn't say it would, I said might, okay? Good thing I have a perfect mixer right here. Um, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This can go here because it's very blue. It's part of the head wrap scarf. Just remember that this is supposed to be fun, guys. And this needs to be darker here and here. This needs to be super dark. So I'm going to get that red. Okay, it's a little bit darker. Oh, I might need to add a bit more, like maybe red acrylic to it. Because I want it to be almost black kind of kind of getting there <laughs> not quite but kind of maybe if we add a little bit of this pink in it'll be a really nice contrast to the rest of the painting we're just dying to go in with a paintbrush and be like mm -hmm. but we can't do that it's not the challenge okay so calm down you're not allowed Right, I've got another of these guys because I feel like it's helping. But it's also blobbing too much uh, paint on the page, maybe? I don't know. Like I said, layering is going to be my friend in this uh, travesty of a idea. Okay, okay. very hard to control these things, as I loosely say, but it's fun. Yeah, she looks crazy now, but I'm hoping that I can get some <laughs> definition in there so it doesn't look as crazy. Like weird blob art. <laughs> Need some yellow in there, right? Okay. Mm, it's totally fine, guys. I got this under control. Don't let the uh, demon get you. <laughs> Um, as it was drying, I was sort of looking more at the form of the actual painting um, of Girl with a Pearl Earring and trying to figure out what my next steps would be here. So I was just thinking to block out the lights and then maybe that could help me a little bit to just block out shapes. Of course, it's very <laughs> difficult with these tools, but it's gonna be fun, okay? Say it with me, guys. We're gonna be... Having fun on this train of adventure. Train of adventure. Mm -hmm. Alex, I'm looking at the camera and that is looking absolutely nuts. <laughs> this is the ugly stage of all ugly stages. You gotta stick with it, okay? You just, you can't just give up. Let's do the eyelid. <laughs> to just uh, give a little bit more form. <laughs> so I'm just gonna pour ink on and uh, use one of these little things again. Being a very handy tool, this one. You guys haven't known pain until you've drawn with crap you found outside. All right, it looks crazy, but I st I'm still thinking I can salvage it. A few moments later. Oh, I'm still believing in this project, even though it looks absolutely crazy. Maybe that was my intention all along, is to just draw something super unsettling, seeing as, as I am working on a horror comic. You don't, you, you don't know, maybe. Maybe that was my intention. Could be. 
found that these things have just been really helpful these little seed pod things so i'm glad that i went and got like another one because now i'm trying to do her lips and it's impossible to do it with just any sort of shape now she looks like a clown brilliant I think it's more the the, uh, <laughs> the colors that I've chosen as well just look really weird like for instance on this one they're not specifically like correct colors but it just looks super weird on this one I don't know if I'm just polishing a turd now you know there's some really interesting mark making in it but <laughs> I'm not sure about it Okay, so I think I know what's wrong with this. Um, pretty much everything. <laughs> also, I went to dry it and the hairdryer just like zoomed the ink across the page. So there it is. That's that's how my day is going. I've done this side of the face a lot darker where it should be the light side of the face. So that's maybe not helping with it looking like a demon. Like, as I'm going, it's just getting worse and worse, and uh, yeah, it's not as loose as it was. I'm getting more, trying to be more controlled with stuff that's supposed to be, you're supposed to be loose with this um, experiment, right? Because that's the whole point. And as I go, I'm just finding that I'm just not being loose. I'm just trying to get something that looks like go of a pearl earring, which is just so stupid because how are you gonna recreate that like perfectly nobody could do that that's well maybe someone could but it's impossible uh it's super hard so <laughs> i don't know why i'm being so harsh on myself because this is supposed to be an exercise in looseness and now i've just found myself getting really careful um but yeah so that's the final look because i feel like if i keep going it's just gonna get worse and worse but as you zoom in, there are some like interesting mark making and textures. I feel like it was more interesting before I went over it with that pink. Like some of the marks were so nice, but altogether it looks like a crazy demon and I'm aware of that, but lesson to take away. I've loosened up. It was fun. I had fun with art and just mark making. I, there was no pressure to this except to show you guys. Um, this is, the two together there's something about it that i quite like but it is scary as well maybe that's why i like it but yeah that's the end of the video and let me know if you're gonna go out and try this and have some fun with it but yeah uh please drop me a like if you would like to help me with my pain and i will continue to make youtube videos <laughs> that satisfy your curiosity okay thanks for watching guys bye